What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, we're going over the Riven Dispo changes today. What stats got nerfed and buffed. If you watched my prediction video from the other day, pretty much was spot on with almost everything. There were a couple weapons that got nerfed I didn't talk about in that video, but yeah, for the most part, called pretty much all the changes. Uh, even down to some of the buffs, too. So let's get over that today. Uh, also, I'll be going over the Hildren Prime patch notes today, too, because they did patch up one of the things we've been talking about on the channel uh, a good amount recently. So, yeah. Let's get into it. If you enjoy these types of videos, I do daily work for video uploads. Also, we'll be live uh, a little bit after this video goes up with farming Hildren Prime and Larkspur and all that stuff, too. Uh, I have to go grocery shopping, though. I haven't gone grocery shopping for, like, a week, so... Almost out of food. Also, I just literally woke up, so sorry if I sound like out of breath or whatever. All right, so here we are with the Hildren Prime patch notes. Let's read that their uh, information is. Looks like there's minimal information on this one. Greetings, Tenno Hildren Prime. Muscles are way onto uh, all platforms today, along with Riven Dispo changes. These are the first of 2023, but feel free to review our previous change from December if you're curious. These Riven adjustments have uh, always are always meant to account for changes in the game to itself, as well as popular trends. With big plans... We big changes planned for the upcoming year. Consider yourself familiarized with our guidelines. Big changes planned for the upcoming year. That still means self damage could come back. All right, let's start with these Riven stat changes. So we're right off the bat. Aeolock, Aphentis, Alternox. Three new-ish weapons that start with the letter A in the primary slot all got Riven stat buffs. Now, this is what I like to call a, a fake buff. I know it's not exactly fake, but it's a very small buff. Changing the Riven stats from uh, 0.05 increase, not going to really make a big difference on the card. Uh, but as you can see right here, we got the Kuva Tomcord, the first nerf, going from 0.95 to 0.9. It doesn't feel like a fake nerf, it's a real nerf. So let's go take a look at the Kuva Tomcord Riven and see how much it changed. Uh, I don't really have a before or after with me. I honestly woke up a little bit late today, so sorry about that. Uh, but let's take a look at how much damage this Kuva Tomcord is doing with a tri stat with a no negative. Or actually, with a negative. Pardon me. So we got 99% crit chance. Oh, what? I'm, I'm below 100% crit chance. I could have swore I was at, like right at 100. Oh, this is a crit damage ribbon. Okay. Never mind. Uh, crit damage, multi-shot, damage grenier, minus magazine size. It's starting to look a little bit weaker now that they started nerfing the, the dispo on it. But uh, still going to be a very hard-hitting ribbon. I'm sure with a crit chance ribbon, you'll still be over 100, no problem. So uh, that's the first nerf, the Kuva They're finally on to us. This is one of the best AoE weapons, honestly. And as we saw in those patch notes, this is the only AoE weapon primary that got uh, nerfed. Oh, by the way, let me just unflashbang you real quick. Sorry about the light mode. I guess it didn't have me signed in here. Flashbang deactivated. All right, that's the only AoE weapon looks like they nerfed in this dispo pass. Yep, that's the only nerf in primaries, period. We also got the Nagantaka Prime, getting a small Riven buff from 1 to 1.05. Uh, so maybe get a little bit extra crit damage on there or whatever. We got the Paragale. Now, this actually got a, an actual buff. We went from 0.5 to 0.7, so much higher stats. Uh, 0.5 is the low it, as low as it goes, and now we have 0.7, which is going to be... I mean, you can still kill Eidolon to this thing with no Riven, so there you go, just even more damage. Uh, even more like Demolist one-shot. Enjoy your Paragon Ribbons. I deleted my Paragon Ribbon because I couldn't get a good one. I was getting sick of it, so I deleted it. And I don't really think I'll be changing that anytime soon. The Paragon is a very strong single-target weapon. It's Varuna's signature sniper, if, if you remember that thing. The Burst Fire Sniper. Uh, so, yeah. All right, moving on, we have uh, the the Paragon Nagantaka. Uh, Fer Tenant Ferox got a Riven buff as well from 0.5 to 0.75. I don't remember which kind of... Ferox Riven I have, but let's see. I might actually have two Ferox Rivens if we can see what the stats are looking like. So, a uh, reminder, Tenet Ferox finally got a 60 roll uh, from whatever that guy's name is, Ergol Gloss. It took such a long time. All right, so we got two Rivens here, actually. We got a a Damage Riven with Toxin, we got a Utility Riven. So my Utility Riven on the Tenet Ferox is going to have 51% fire rate, 87% steady chance with minus 42% puncture. And the Damage Riven, we got 60%... Toxin, 68% multi-shot, 107% damage, 49% negative projectile speed. Uh, so, I guess that's good. Uh, what's our multi-shot looking like? We have 2.5 multi-shot before Galvanized Chamber stacked up. Uh, it looks okay. I think this thing has some like kind of like issues with it still. Um, so, I'm not going to really be recommending it to everybody. But it's still like an okay weapon. So, a decent size risen, Riven buff. So, I will take that. Uh, moving on to finish off the primaries, we got the Tenet Flux Rifle and the Tenet Tetra, both getting Riven buffs. 
Uh, those are both strong weapons, just not really like... Uh, at least the Tenet Tetra is not really like... It's not a weapon I really use that often. And the Tenet Flux Rifle, I pretty much only use that when people ask me to use that. It does pretty good damage, but I just don't really actively use it, honestly. Alright, so good on the on the primaries. Uh, basically, like I said, all those like those weapons you just don't think about that are like relatively okay, they're like kinda like not meta, just like good. Those weapons got ribbon buffs, as we see like AO Lock, Aphentis, and the Alternux, those all got buffed. And the only nerf was the Kuvaton Core, so I guess it's at least it wasn't like the Ogres and stuff too. Shotguns, we got two buffs, we got the Phantasma Prime and the Stephlos. They did actually buff the Stephlos, even though it just came out like a month ago, so that's cool. Um and the Phantasma Prime got another, another Riven buff, too. So, uh, the Phantasma Prime is definitely looking looking good. I don't think it will get any more Riven buffs after this, but, again, who knows? Um, so, here we are with the Phantasma Prime. And it, was I even using my Riven? I was using my Riven. We got 85% multi-shot, 55% status chance, 35, uh, 32% magazine size, and minus 66% slash. And then the Toxin Riven I have um, for Saren. Let's see how much that gives. Uh, that's going to be... Okay, I guess I can't fit this on there. 75% uh, Toxin, 98% Multi-Shot, and 34.2% Weapon Recoil. Uh, so the Riven stats are looking pretty good. Let's just compare that to the normal Phantasma real quick. Uh, so we had 85% Multi-Shot on the Prime. Let's see the normal version. Okay, 85 on the on the Prime, and on the non-Prime, we have 128. Okay, so the, the Rivens are still a lot stronger on the non-Prime. Uh, but, you know, I mean, 85% Multi-Shot is pretty good still. So, yeah. Interesting. If you don't have a Phantasma uh, Riven, I'd say go for it. The Phantasma Normal and the Phantasma Prime are both really good. All right, uh, moving on. We have the shotguns completed. Let's go to the secondaries now. Okay, we got a lot of secondary changes. It looks like no nerfs as well in the entire secondary spots. We got Agrit, Aphirus Prime, Cannibalist. The Aphirus Prime got an actual Riven buff, so that's nice. Not like I'm going to use that thing. Uh, Catch Moon Secondary got a Riven buff. That's surprising. The Kuva Seer, the Hystrix Prime... The Magnus Prime, the Spira and Spira Prime all got buffed. The Tenet Planks got a very small buff. It went from 0.5 to 0.55. Does DE not remember they actually made it where Pax Charge doesn't work on this thing? Like, that seems like a very tame buff for how this thing is not really, like... I, at least I don't use it really as much anymore now that Pax Charge is going on it, but... Oh well, 0.5, uh, Riven, 0 0.05 Riven buff. I'll probably sell my Riven after that, um... Yeah, the Tenet Plinks actually has, like... I have a decently good Tenet Plinks ribbon, actually. Um, but I just... I don't know. They, they nerfed that mod. I don't know if I've taken that mod off of here that they nerfed. Uh, I'm at 161% crit chance on my ribbon. Yeah, this mod. This this mod used to work. I guess I'll have to take that off now. Um, we have 59.7 multi-shot, 37.7 fire rate, and 81.1 .1 critical chance with minus 35% projectile speed. And I think they went above the fire rate enough that this actually is not going to work anymore. Um... I'll look at that later. I, actually, it might be okay. I think it's the charge time that matters on that. Yeah, fire rate for the secondary shot. Okay, we're still good on the secondary shot. I haven't wanted for too much fire rate here. Uh, but yeah, Tenet Flink should have gotten a more of a buff there, if you ask me. Because I pretty much have to replace a mod slot now. <clears throat> this even tended to me, if you ask me. Uh, Tenet Spirex got a buff, and the Zaki Prime also got a buff. I don't have ribbons for... I don't have ribbons for the Zaki Prime, but I have a ribbon for all of, uh, most of this other stuff. So, uh, mostly small buffs. Like I said, the only real actual big buff here is... I think the only big buff is the Aphirus Prime from what I'm seeing right here. So, nothing super exciting. Aphirus Prime is a, a puncture status weapon from what I remember. So, yeah. And then the last uh, batch here, we got the Melees. We got the Bala and the Serata and the Ripkas all getting nerfed. So, if, you might, if you're asking why the Ripkas get nerfed, if you watch my uh, Endo farming guy from the other day, that's why. Because everybody's using the Ripkas for farming Endo. Uh, having a ribbon for it is nice, too. Um, also, you can also technically do a Korra stat stick on, on, with the Ripkas too. It has good Riven Dispo, and that got nerfed down a little bit. Actually, a lot. It went from 1.38 to 1.3. Uh, the Serata went from 1.3 to 1.25. Uh, and then the Bala got nerfed from 0.85 to 0.8. Just like a slap in the face to Bala users. So, uh, Serata still has really good Riven stats. I'm not worried about that. Um, but, yeah, it's definitely on their nerf radar now, so keep an eye on that. Oh, just look at that. The Korra fell got a small Riven buff. That's nice. Uh, the Cobra and Crane got a big Riven buff from 0.5 to 0.75. Ghoul Saw got another Riven buff as predicted, but who even cares? Hespar got a small Riven buff. Inodem, Corum, Sorrow Fang. Well, the Sorrow Fang didn't even get a full buff. It just went from 0.5 to 0.65. Interesting. Uh, the Slate Shark got a Riven buff from 0.7 to 0.8. 
Itatsu and Tatsu Prime both got Riven buffs, although the Tatsu Prime's Riven buff is very small. The Ten Exec, Venato, Veracrez, and Volnus Prime all got Riven buffs too. So, I pretty much called it here. I said that Serato would get nerfed. I said that the Ghoul Saw would get buffed, because why wouldn't it? And, uh, yeah, looks like they didn't really do much else besides what my predictions were. Uh, a couple extra nerfs here and there. Um, overall... I think we got away from this one pretty pretty nicely, guys. Uh, no Verma Splicer nerf at all. That was extremely nice. Uh, let's actually go over the Hildren Prime patch notes here, too. Uh, the biggest thing that to really keep in mind is uh, that whole... You know how we always talk about the double... Like, buy two Umberformers in one week thing? They actually fixed that in this patch. So that's the, that will no longer be a thing. Sorry, uh, Xbox players. Uh, we got a, an extra Umberform if you watched the channel last week. Uh, so basically, they, they buffed Mirror Defense drop tables... Replace the 3,000 credit cash and some endo with Neo Relics, so we'll, you'll get, be getting more Neo Relics from your defense, I guess, on the Rotation A. On Rotation B, they decrease the drop rate for Neo Relics and increase the drop rate of Chlorophyll and Stephalos parts and the Arcanes. And on Rotation C, they decrease the drop rate of Axie Relics and increase Citrine and Arcane drop rates. Those are all the public drop tables if you want to check that out. Um, we've also got a Slash Dash and Excalibur Umber will now target enemies instead of dashing at random. Okay, so you, you will instantly lock on enemies with Slash Dash now. Um, change the position of Citrine's Remnants. Okay, who cares about Mirror Defense? Mirror Defense sucks. Uh, okay, and then, by the way, right here. So where is that thing? Fixed, uh, fixed uh, immediately purchasing items with a reset timer. Paula Dina's items, for example, after they have rolled, setting the expiring date far earlier than the intended time. Yeah, it was 3 a.m. ET. We tested it, Pablo, so... Feel free to hit me up if you need any more uh, information like that. Fix Metamorphic Magazine not working for clients with multi-shot, so they fix that, hopefully. Um, some other stuff here. Fixed players not extracting along with the other squad mates on the life support is zero and survival. And if you want to read all this stuff, be my guest. Overall, uh, you know, I'd say pretty good Riven Dispo passes. Nothing, like, really... No, no, no overly big losers besides Arcwing guns, apparently. Not getting changed at all. Um... And yeah, I guess uh, as far as rifles, like, honestly, nothing too exciting. The Parag if you have a good Paragon Riven, congratulations. It's going to be even stronger and more overkill than it was before. Uh, for the shotguns, Phantasma Prime creeping up uh, ever so slightly. And for, uh, for secondaries, might need to whip up the Aggrit Riven a little bit here. Uh, and also, that's pretty much it. The rest of this stuff, it seems pretty tame, to be honest. Uh, and for melees, Corifel Riven buff is nice, but it's only to .55. That is higher than Strofa Ribbons, though. That does have more Dispo than Strofa Ribbons, so that is interesting. Either way, guys, I'll see you on stream in a little bit here. I'm going to go grocery shopping. I hope you found the video enjoyable and helpful. And, yeah, good luck getting that Hilton Prime stuff to drop. Take it easy. Peace!